Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Haney versus Lomachenko breakdown video. Um, these two will collide for the undisputed lightweight championship of the world on Saturday, May 20th in the main event of an ESPN pay-per-view card. This is a big, big time fight. Now, before we get into that, guys, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get um, as I build my channel here. Um, if you guys do not like what I'm doing, you can always give me a thumbs down or, um, you know, to tell me why you don't like what I'm doing. I am perfectly okay with that. I can take it. I'm not a baby. <laughs> And um, yeah, just let me know what's up. It's all good. Uh, all that being said, um, you know, back to this fight right here. And, um, you know, if you guys don't normally uh, watch my breakdown videos, are you new to it? It's pretty, it's pretty simple, but also complicated. I really get in depth on these two, on the two fighters. Um, I usually will, I talk, the first thing I do is I talk about the fight and what it means. Uh, to the sport, um, you know, what's at, at stake. Um, then I, then I discuss each fighter individually, what they, what they're doing rolling into the fight. Like, uh, they pretty much talk about like their last three fights or couple years. Um, and then, uh, you know, what they need to do to win the fight. I ask, uh, you know, about five or six questions, same questions on each fighter. And then at the end of it, when I'm done, I will do, uh, is it bigger, you know, is it better for boxing if one or the other wins? And then finally, um, you know, my prediction on the fight at the end of the video. Um, these videos run longer, so if you guys can hang in there, hang in there. It's, 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 it's insightful. It's, you know, it, it's, it's insightful. There's a lot of details that go into this and why I make my predictions the way I do. So we generally uh so this fight what's at stake well all four major titles the undisputed lightweight championship of the world is at stake devin haney the reigning champ coming in um a belt you know all four belts he won last year when he defeated george cambosos jr in june on espn um taking on vasily lomachenko the former two-time uh, are the former three division world champion, uh, two time Olympic gold medalist. And, um, you know, these two guys are squaring off in a, you know, with all four, again, with all four belts on the line, um, you know, to determine who is the front runner with all the, the championships at 135 pounds lightweight. And I think lightweight now is probably the most talented division top to bottom the deepest division in terms of talent top to bottom um and these two guys this is what it's all about you know if you guys are into the tank davis ryan garcia fight last weekend great that was more of a hype fight this is the real deal a lightweight fight right uh right now and um it, it's a big one it's one of it, it in my opinion it's bigger than davis and um and ryan garcia that was more for face money value which don't get me wrong that's huge to the sport but this is for legitimacy who the true best is and that's what this fight is all about a lot riding on the line here it's uh it could be a changing of the guard or it could not be so we usually will go in a fight like this a title fight champion first challenger second so let's talk about the undefeated undisputed lightweight champion of the world devin haney um, rolling into this fight, Devin Haney's hot. He really is. Um, his last three fights uh, date back to, I believe, December of 21 when he uh, dominated Joseph Diaz Jr. Um, well, not, you know, not dominated is a strong word, where he convincingly defeated Joseph Diaz Jr. by a 12 round unanimous decision to retain uh, the WBC title at the time. Uh, then in June of last year, he took on George Cambosos Jr. He went to Australia. Uh, odds kind of stacked against him. He didn't have his father uh, there, um, you know, for the fight, who's his trainer. And he went out there and boxed well and scored a convincing 12-round unanimous decision. Um, then there was an automatic rematch clause in the contract. So in, in I believe it was October of last year, 
he would defend all four belts against Cambosos in a rematch in Australia, and this time he beat up Cambosos and almost stopped them um, and scored a lopsided shutout 12-round unanimous decision as he retained the undisputed title. So now he's coming in to his second defense of all four belts, hungry, poised, wanting to prove himself, highly confident right now, and, um, you know, he's the younger man by 11 years. He's 24 years old. So a lot on the line going in against Vasily Lomachenko here. Big, big time fight for him. First time on pay-per-view uh, where he's headlining. So a lot riding on this fight for Devin Haney as he aims to prove that he is one of the pound for pound, pound for pound best and the future of boxing right here. Um, a, show, a potential showdown with Shakur Stevenson awaits Haney or the winner or Gervonta Tank Davis. So a lot, you know, riding on that. So we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. This is big right here. Now, um, what does Devin Haney need to do to win this fight? Um, I definitely think Haney needs to allow Lomachenko to come to him. Haney has a one-inch height advantage, but he has a six inch reach advantage that is very significant he is the bigger man he needs to use his reach and his height and his speed um, to beat Lomachenko he needs to let Lomachenko come forward be the aggressor and the attacker use his jab and throw his combinations but not uh, be first let Loma be first let him come in and, uh, but don't let him get inside and smother him and, and um, take away the reach advantage. That's what Devin Haney needs to do. He needs to try to send a message to, to Loma early by landing a clean hard shot, sit down on his punches, and land a clean hard shot to let he's, Loma know he's not gonna let him bully him in there. But he needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught with a perfectly timed shot as well. That's one thing Vasily Lomachenko is great at is he is a perfectly timed fighter. So um, it's it's not you know it's not going to be easy. But Devin Haney, if he does that, he might that that's probably the best chance he has of winning. Now, do I believe Devin Haney can win this fight by knockout? Um, he would really have to put a beating on Loma, or he'd have to catch him with something very flush and clean. Loma generally has a good chin. Um, Haney and Haney isn't the biggest puncher, but Haney does have power. So I do think it's possible, but I don't think it's likely if that makes sense. But I do think it is possible that he could stop him. Now, um, do I do I believe Haney can win a decision over Vasily Lomachenko? I do. You know, I do think if if he beats Loma, it's gonna be by a decision. Um, I. I my better judgment tells me that it's going to be close, but, you know, it depends on if Vasily Lomachenko has gotten old or not. I don't know that yet. I really don't. And um, I don't believe that, but um, if Vasily gets old and the youth and the speed is is just significantly different, then maybe, yeah, maybe um, maybe he can win this fight by a, by a decision, yeah, yeah, or maybe he can dominate a decision. I guess it's possible. Um, uh, what does a victory here mean for Devin Haney? It completely legitimizes him as the undisputed champion. It really does. Um, George Cambosos, those were big wins, you know, for him. But George Cambosos is kind of the um, uh, placeholder, if that makes sense, in my opinion. Cambosos is decent, but I definitely don't think he is a an elite fighter, not even close. I think he got Tiafima Lopez, he surprised him um, when Lopez was overlooking him. Maybe Lopez was really struggling from that weight, the weight cut uh, to 135, and I, I think Cambosos just kind of is a placeholder, you know? Um, he, he got a big win, and I think he, but I think he might pan out to be kind of like a one-hit wonder type deal. Um, and I think just stylistically, Haney was just, he was built to beat a guy like Cambosos handily. Um, but it's its going to be interesting to see uh, that, you know, that dynamic. So a win for Devin Haney over Lomachenko 
even Lomachenko at 35 is going to tell a lot about how good Devin Haney is. Because I think Vasily Lomachenko is still believed to be, even if people are looking at Haney as the favorite, I think Vasily Lomachenko is still con you know, considered to be one of the best and maybe top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world. So, um, a win is going to be the biggest of his career for Devin Haney, and it's really going to legitimize him across the board as a pound for pound elite fighter. So, it, it means everything. What does a loss mean for Devin Haney? A loss would be devastating to him. Um, it would be devastating because it's his first loss, but it also would depend on how he lost. Because for a guy like me, in my opinion, is if Vasily Lomachenko decisively defeats Devin Haney, I don't think that says that Devin Haney's not good enough. I just think it speaks to the greatness of Lomachenko. And you can argue almost like a Mayweather Canelo argument where Haney is not truly not in his prime yet. He's good. He's very good. But he's not on a Loma level. And a Loma level in terms of talent, Loma has a capability of being an all-time great. So it's not it's it's not um, gonna hurt Haney as much as you know as people think. Maybe um, I don't think people are gonna have the attitude. Oh well, see, you're really not that good. No, I don't think it's it is that way. There's an 11 year age gap here, and Vasily Lomachenko, in my opinion, is on another level talent wise than most fighters. So if Haney takes an L here. I don't think it's going to be too bad, but it also depends on how he loses. You know, if he gets his ass whipped, he gets knocked out, kind of find that hard to uh, accept uh, that it's going to be that one-sided. But, um, you know, if he loses a close one or even if he gets hurt badly and runs out of gas, I don't think that's going to kill him, you know, kill Haney. So a loss is going to hurt um, depending on how he lo loses too, but I don't think it's going to, it's going to, totally destroy him now um we switch over to the former uh three division world champion Vasily Lomachenko and we look at what he's gonna do our you know his stuff rolling into the fight Vasily Lomachenko last three fights um at you know the first one dating back to 2021 was his bounce back fight after the loss to Tiafimo Lopez when he completely dominated Masahiro Nakatani um you know, just completely one-sided, stopped him in nine rounds impressively, and bounced back from that loss to Tiafimo Lopez impressively. Um, then he took on um, uh, Richard Comey, former lightweight champ, and completely dominated him over 12 rounds, almost stopped him in that fight, but really, really put it on uh, Richard Comey, one-sided fight as he um, left no doubt how good he really is. But then in October of last year, he took on undefeated Jermaine Ortiz, who was coming off of a one-sided decision win over um, Jamel Herring, as he d retired the former champ Herring. And, um, you know, I he won a close decision over Ortiz, but, you know, a lot of people wanted to say he's getting old. I think he, I just truly think he was overlooking Jermaine Ortiz. I really believe that. Um, he was coming back from the the war effort in the Ukraine that he took time off to dedicate himself to. Um, and, you know, I really think he saw a guy undefeated, yes, but I think he was really overlooking Ortiz. And, um, and that's why the fight was close. Um, you know, he picked it up in the second half of the fight, pretty much dominated the action in the second half, and won a decision. So, um... I don't really take too much from that, that, you know, that unlike him performance, you know, but, um, you know, now, so he's definitely not hot rolling in, but again, I believe his mentality is there. I believe he's hungry. And I believe he wants to prove that the Lopez fight wasn't him, wasn't really him either. So, um, and that he's still the man at, um, at 135. Now, what does Vasily what, what does Vasily Lomachenko need to do to win this fight against Devin Haney? Um, he has to negate that the um, the six inch reach advantage. 
He's only one inch smaller. So I believe he needs to get inside of Devin Haney, you know, get inside of the range, break that advantage that Haney has, and land those perfectly timed shots. You know, I really do believe if he gets inside of Haney's reach, um, he can get by the jab, then I believe he can own Devin Haney on the inside. I really do. I think he can get in there. He can beat him up. He can land those liver shots that he lands and really uh, outwork him in those perfectly timed uh, shots and even maybe make it a phone booth fight to where Haney has to stay in front of him. Um, but I also think he needs to try to keep the fight in the middle of the ring or force Haney to come to him. If he does that um, and doesn't fall into Haney's traps, I think he has a chance to be successful. Now, can Lomachenko win this fight by knockout? I believe he can. Um, we've seen Devin Haney get hurt. Uh, you know, not against Cambosos, but Cambosos not a big puncher, uh, you know, a huge puncher, and neither was Joseph Diaz. But against Jorge Linares, he got hurt and hurt badly. And Linares was a good fighter that um, was a very good fighter and counter puncher and time fighter and he landed that overhand right and hurt Haney badly and Lomachenko I think has that sneaky uh perfectly timed type power if he hits you with a perfectly timed punch you're gonna go down and get hurt so um yeah I believe he can uh he can knock Devin Haney out I do either by wearing him down or I believe he can land a perfectly timed shot and hurt Devin Haney now, do I believe Lomachenko can win this fight by a decision? I do. Um, I think he can dominate, potentially, but I think it's more likely going to be like a competitive decision win, but I do think he can win convincingly. Um, so, yeah, I do think he can win a decision. Now, what does a win mean for Vasily Lomachenko? I think it, it um, confirms Hall of Fame status. Not only does it make him the best in the division again, not only does it make him undisputed champion, but to be a young, undefeated fighter at the age of 35, you know, to and prove that he's still the man is Hall of Fame type shit. You know, that, that's what makes, that's what separates the men from the boys right there type deal. And maybe Vasily Lomachenko is already Hall of Famer. I think he probably is. Um, even though he's only 17 and two as a pro, but I mean, you gotta remember the dude's second fight was a world title fight um, that he was pretty much robbed in. And um, you know, he's only lost one other fight other than that to Tiafima Lopez that I still contest was a draw. So um, a win means, means a lot to the career of Lomachenko, not just status in this division, but to his career, absolutely means uh means a lot to Vasily Lomachenko so um you know for me uh I think I think he needs to um you know I, I think he can win this fight um you know it, it would mean a lot now what does a loss mean for Vasily Lomachenko um it, it it's really gonna hurt Lomachenko at 35 years old um I think any kind of loss hurts but I, you know, again, it, it just depends on um, how he loses. So if he goes out there and gets dominated against Haney, then people are basically going to say he's old now and he's not at that top level. Um, but if he loses a close decision, he's still right there. If he loses a close fight, he's still right there, you know, and it cannot be argued, but the passing of the torch will be there. And people will start to really believe in the de the decline of Lomachenko, um, e even if it's close. Uh, but not so as much. You know, I still think Lomachenko will still draw big. He'll still be an A-list fighter, um, even with a close decision loss or a close loss. Uh, so now, is it better for boxing if Devin Haney wins this fight or Vasily Lomachenko wins this fight? That's tough to say. I think it's close to 50-50. The reason I say that is if Devin Haney wins and beats a, a a great, great fighter like Lomachenko, then it's a passing of the torch type deal. And you have a future undefeated fighter, um, you know, who, who really can be the next generation, the next decade of the sport, you know, 10, 15 years of the sport. Um, but if it's Lomachenko, it's the, it's the guard 
a worldwide type fighter because Haney's big in the United States, but his style doesn't really translate, uh, you know, as a popular style to a lot of people uh, around the world, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of people will be like, he's a great fighter, he, he's a, but he's a defensive fighter with not a lot of pop, so he's not going to draw what a Lomachenko will draw. And if Lomachenko wins, you know, I think you're looking kind of the same thing. You only have uh, a few more years of greatness, but a guy like Lomachenko to me, you know, can be like a Tom Brady. He's in such great shape. He's so talented that this guy could compete for the next five, six years still in, into his 40s potentially at a high level, you know. So, um, and he's, he's a big name and a draw and um, on a world level, worldwide level, that I think, you know, it is very still very good for the sport and what the sport needs because of his true talent that he has. So, um, I really think it could go either way. It can be, it, it's, it, it could be, it's gonna be good for boxing no matter what. Now, finally, my prediction on this huge undisputed lightweight title fight. It's um, tougher than it was before to pick this one, but I'm still clear on the guy I've always felt since this fight was first proposed last year. I think Vasily Lomachenko is gonna win this fight. I'm going back and forth on how, um, because I absolutely believe Loma is gonna be in this fight and it's gonna be competitive. Even if he's losing the fight, um, I think it's gonna be competitive. And I think if he takes Devin Haney into a competitive fight in the late rounds where Haney has been taking shots. I think if he catches Haney, he's going to hurt him and he can hurt him badly and stop him. But I also can see Lomachenko winning a close decision here. Um, I can see him winning a wider than close decision, not a wide decision, but I can see him winning like a 116, 112 type decision. Um, and taking the belts. Now, that's what I think is going to happen. I think Vasily Lomachenko is going to win this fight. Um, I'm leaning towards decision because I think that's a little bit of a safer pick, but I really, really would not be surprised if he stops him in the late rounds. Um, I do believe Devin Haney is a very live underdog. I would not be surprised if Haney wins this fight by a decision. I don't think Haney's going to knock Loma out or has a strong chance to knock him out. I do think he can hurt him, but I don't know if he can finish him unless he just absolutely dominates him. Um, but I also don't think Devin Haney's gonna dominate Vasily Lomachenko. The reason being is, um, you know, I look at the four significant fights of Devin Haney, and I don't read into them the way others do. Um, I'm gonna point out some things. One, he got caught and hurt very badly, even though he was counter-punching and winning convincingly over Jorge Linares. That shows me that his, his punching power is not strong enough to wear a guy down to where that guy cannot hurt him badly with one shot. Um, you know, that's that definitely speaks to me. But it also showed me that against a good counter-puncher um, and a, a good, well-timed counter-puncher like Linares, He's susceptible to a fighter like that. Um, and uh, then you got the fight with Jojo Diaz. Jojo, of the four major wins, Linares, Diaz, and the two against Cambosos, you know Jojo was probably the most competitive with Haney? Not a big puncher, but he did land some shots in that fight, and he was competitive in rounds. And the judges kind of had it like a 116, 112, 117, 111. Jojo D is a southpaw who's not as, as good as Vasily Lomachenko. So that speaks to me right there a lot. Then you look at the two Cambosos fights, and again, stylistically, I picked Haney to win both those fights. You know, I, I really didn't have any doubt that he was going to win those fights. I, the only doubt I had was that Camboso maybe catches him with something and hurts him, but Cambosos is not a strong, a big puncher. So Vasily Lomachenko has the ability to counter punch and time his punches very well. He is a southpaw and he hits hard. Harder than Cambosos, harder than Lanadas, and harder than Diaz. So to me, 
Vasily Lomachenko is going to win this fight. And he's, and, 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 you know, and I, I really, really believe that. But again, uh, um, Devin Haney is a live, very talented fighter. And I can see him pulling this one out too and keeping his belt. So, um, this is a fight where these two fighters are going to have to step up their game and it's the best versus the best. So I hope you guys hung in there for, for this one. Vasily Lomachenko is going to be the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, in my opinion. And this was the Haney versus Lomachenko breakdown video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.